All's Fair. Very popular, very big, with two dynamite players at least on it. This is Richard Crenna, Bernadette Peters, and the story is it's like an almost uh, an old soap opera. Can this conservative columnist find happiness <laughs> in the arms of a, of a liberal baby? Baby, that's right. <laughs> yeah. You're so irreverent. And uh, let me ask you this in your real lives. Do you believe in the old saw that opposites attract? Well, I think there's a fascination in it. Yes, I really do. I, do the, I, I think that people basically start to become like each other. You know, do you ever notice how people look like their dogs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't send in letters, folks. Um, but uh, no, people do, do do. I think as as, right. as they live together, uh, they assume attitudes and they assume mannerisms and even ways of talking. But most husbands and wives so. vote the same way. That's why I think yours are going to be so relevant. You know, with the women's movement emerging, women not necessarily voting the way their husbands do. And you, it seems a waste in a way. I know you're a good actress. But you're such a good song and dance person. Well, give me a chance. <laughs> she, she sings and dances a lot when she gets, every time she gets a day off, she does another show. You know, she's really bad. I've been doing a lot of variety shows, many. You have? Be, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I suppose it's going to be a musical set in between scenes, so. Well, actually, um, I'm, teaching, I'm teaching Bernadette how to play the lip trumpet. She and is. And she's getting that bad. She's got, do you want to play taps yeah. for them? <laughs> As you can see, she has a long way to go, no, but she's, she's coming along. And not only that, you won't ever hear that on the Cronkite program. No, no, no. Listen, if you want, if you want straight news, you, you listen to the news. But uh, if you want oh. this, you're in trouble. <laughs> That's getting better. Isn't it? Getting better. Yeah. It I really have one is. question. Is there much call for that? We enjoy it. Well, <laughs> we like let me it. put it this way. Agents are not calling us, uh, but it, it does pass the time. He asked me to do it, and I asked him to do it. <laughs> he does a great, I heard him do a Vaughn Monroe imitation, too, doesn't he? he raising, he's raising a, the a moon. bundle of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ollie. <laughs> You've done a lot of musicals in your past, have you, Richard? Well, I've, d I've done a few on television, yeah. I've, I've did a little singing and dancing, and I'm usually terrified. You see the, the guy with the, with a glazed look in his eye. <laughs> Uh, really terrified, and that's when I do my little dance number. Yeah. You're very good. Uh, Paul Newman, as successful an actor as he is, always says he gets a little bit uneasy in between assignments. Uh, basic insecurity, I guess, that some actors have. You know, it would seem to me that you have had few periods of liberty, as they say. Well, somebody's yeah, always wanted you for I've a been, part. I've been very fortunate. I really have. Uh, my, I've been kind of a survivor. I've kind of, you know, like a. a Rock. Only the good kind survive. Of, yeah, <laughs> I kind of tumble from one okay. thing to another, and uh, um, I think it's been the fact that uh, the people really don't know what I am. I always kind of make the analogy in my career that uh, I'm uh, very much like uh, like the camel that was described by three blind men who had to touch it. To tip. And wherever people touch, there are some people who think I'm a Western actor. There are other people who think I'm a comedian. There are other people who think I'm, uh, you know, a straight actor. So it's it, it's. Uh, I think that versatility has allowed me to, to continue in the business, and people are constantly kind of discovering me and saying, yes. hey, I didn't know you could do that. I think you can do anything on this stage. Right? Well, thank you. I try. I remember Bernadette, as young as you are, a few years ago, when you first, you really exploded like a meteor. You, what Dames at Sea did it mm -hmm. for you, you were so wonderful, and they just gobbled you up. You appeared on some late-night talk shows, and one thing that stays with me, and it seemed very sincere at the time, is that you seem to be very close to your family, mm -hmm. despite the fact that you'd made it on your own and had a career going and were making, a, I guess, a lot of money? Well, I was doing off-Broadway. <laughs> you don't make too much in off-Broadway. But, uh, no, we were a tightly knit family, yes. But when you're Italian, you always go home. That's to it. Yeah. We're Italian. Isn't Italian, Italian, Italian no, too? No, no. Your name is what, Lazara? Lazara is my real name. So you just you grow up closely knitted. <laughs> And so your mother won't let you go away. No. Nice. No. It's not only Jewish mom. And That's Jewish right. Mom. Oh, no. Well, you know, it's the same. It's All nice. Mamas it's a comfortable feeling, yes. I guess they are. You just said something profound. Yeah. All mamas are the same. We, um, we I think, are, are kind of constantly amazed at, uh, at how good we continue to get along. And I think <laughs> that, uh, you know, when you're locked on, on a series, 
it's kind of like signing on for an extended cruise on a submarine because everybody is or a uh, phone booth or a phone booth because it's a very you're there you, you see more of those people than you do of your own family could that? you do it if you really didn't like each other I could you do a successful series awfully hard I couldn't no I honestly couldn't I think I'd take a walk because um, uh, first of all, I, you know, I, I, I think I'm, I'm most attracted and, and, and first attracted in, in, in someone, a sense of humor. And um, if Bernadette didn't have that, uh, I think it would be out to lunch for all of us. She so, uh, she sparked so well against you, uh, her irreverence, you know, you're kind of important, a little bit <laughs> stuffy, you know, and you come in and you give them a towel, you know, when you discover them taking a bath, and it's no big sure. deal in here. Yeah. You're clicking the lines off. Well, I think each other. I think the secret is, and uh, uh, I don't know. A, a lot of people have said it. Uh, not many uh, follow the the advice, but I think that the greatest uh, uh, quality that an actor can have or attribute is the ability to listen. I have this question for you. Mm. What kind of a fellow does Bernadette go out with? Oh. <laughs> 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 am, I, am I sworn to secrecy? No, so well, she used to run around with Lionel Barrymore and a, a younger group of guys. So, uh, but since he's gone, she, Bernadette is, she, the CIA handles her date book. And she meets people in dark alleys and keeps, she doesn't tell anybody who she goes out with. She doesn't, first of all, she's very private. She never appears in public. I really believe that at night she goes into a bottle somewhere. And... Um, She's somebody's little panda bear, little naughty <laughs> bear, I think. It's getting Who do you go out with? I'll never tell. See? See what I mean? You like show people, <laughs> fellas? Well, it doesn't make any difference to me as long as they are special and nice, that's all. Rich? No. No? What, are you crazy? <laughs> A pretty girl? What, are you going to go out with some dummy? <laughs> I can't straighten her out. It's very difficult. I try to straighten her out, but it's impossible. You're doing your best. I'm doing it? my best. With her. <laughs> I don't see how, as Charlie and Barrington, you can miss. And uh, how long, how long would you like to go on with that? Until um, until Norman Lear has all the money in the world, <laughs> which <laughs> may not be any much time, long, time, any time right, now. Yes. Does no, he come on set uh, much? Oh yes, he's yes. very, very much involved. He is. Right. People. He still does the warm up. I mean, um, you know, here's a man that has uh, what 13 hours of programming on the air. He comes down, and on every show he does the warm up. You know what the warm up is, folks? Yes. It's, it's when the, a man comes down to the studio audience and he tells funny little jokes. A funny thing happened to me on the way to the studio. Turn around, shake hands with your neighbor, and all before those. That? He does that. He does that before the show every week. And you and I suppose, knowing Lear, I would guess that he doesn't use a laugh track. Live audience. Live, Live audience, audience. Yes. What does definitely. he call you, Bernadette? Do you have a nickname? Do your your relatives, your friends, call you something? Sometimes so, they call me Bernie, Bernie, but that's that's about it. Doesn't seem quite right to call that feminine. Well, that's what we call in the locker room, <laughs> Bernie. What do they call you for short? Well, well most people call me Dick. Yeah, I, I started out in, in life as as, uh, as Dick, and it's very difficult to be called Richard now. I don't know who they're talking to when somebody yells. I, I have trouble turning around. Very good. Would you say, as we go off, do that schoolboy squeak of yours. Our Miss Brooks, the wonderful voice you had. Oh, you mean this voice here? Yeah. Well, I know. I, I, this is the way I talk all the time. <laughs> I, I was using when I'm talking with you. I'm using my interview I voice. <laughs> this, is, this is the real voice. Have you a voice? <laughs> just, just this not. one. Oh, Nobody know. thinks it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it's Everybody thinks that's funny. Bernadette Wicked, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. We had a great time.